Yeah. Whoa! Hey! Oh, what was that? that is Unbelievable! So cool. Oh my goodness. Hey, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show, everyone. Caroline, do you remember? Did you ever like do jump rope or skipping? Yes, we used to but call like it skipping. Two, like, the, oh, oh, double like dash. Yeah, the double, double dash one. Double kids. Well, <laughs> I, I remember not being very good at it, but we did all do it when we were kids. Yes. And uh, while well, usually it's typically associated with what uh, children like to do, Correct. jump rope, in fact, I don't know if you're aware, can become an enjoyable way to shed some calories. Now, exactly, Paul. I'm not good at this at all. <laughs> so, you know, just bear with me. Now, jump rope is a fun and interesting way to get your daily dose of activity and even lose some calories if you do it right. And not only that, it can also improve your sleep quality, cardiovascular endurance, and reduce chronic stress. You know where I learned jump rope? Mm. When I learned how to do Muay Thai. Because oh, really? that's yes. how you have to warm up, right? Exactly. Yes. What a great way to warm up your entire body. So, we're going to talk more about jump rope. And in fact, we're going to try to perhaps emulate some basic moves, nothing like that, that we saw earlier. <laughs> and joining us today in the studio is jump rope enthusiast, Maschiano Adipati. Good morning, Maschiano. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you for joining us today. Thank you for, Thank you for here. having me here. Okay, so, so tell us a little bit about how you got into jump rope as like as a sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically for the freestyle, I got into jump rope because I was looking for um, a sport that was fun, challenging, and also there's... A lot of benefits that I can do it alone without fancy equipment. Okay. okay. Uh, and this started when I was you know, in pandemic. Yeah. Because oh, recently. Right. Yeah, recently, oh. like in 2022. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I started there because my main sport was badminton. Okay. Which requires other people to come and play with me. Right. Right. You can't do it alone. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot do it alone. <laughs> and there was lockdown. Okay. Because, yes. So I was looking for another alternative because I couldn't go out and jump rope is. The, the one that I can find and easily do it in my home, in yeah. my room. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, you can do it everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. But Masgeno, I've been seeing a lot of uh, social media posts, yeah. uh, especially when people are just, I think they did it like a couple of weeks. So they did it in like first week, so basic. Yeah. And then they went oh, like you. Oh, you see you. the progress. Yeah, the yeah. progress is really like how easy or not easy for you to train from like basic until what you can do right now. So if we talk about easy, it's going to be easier when you already master the basics. Right? Okay, yes. So when it comes to you know mastering the basics, the other tricks will come along. Right. Just like, just like that. Because if you are skipping the, the steps yes. from basics, then in jumping to advanced, yes. you will not be able to do it easily. Of okay. course. But when you are doing that, start from basic, mm -hmm. how to jump properly with a proper form, yes. other tricks will also come easily. It's with like the foundation, yeah. you need yes, to get that the foundation, first. That's exactly so right. is it this way or is it this way? I'm sorry. Yeah. How to do you it, jump? I think there's both, right? right. Like there's yeah. variations oh, of it. Yeah, that's okay. right. The, there's variation. You can jump with it both of your feet. Correct. That's okay. So alternate step right. like this. Oh. So uh, I know you, you knew this as well, but before the pandemic, I used to lead some boxing cardio yes. classes, boxing theme classes. Yes. One of the ways we used to warm up was jump rope and I'll be honest jump rope sometimes took a little too much out of me like it wasn't more than a warm-up well part of the yeah. reason because cardiovascularity plays a big part into this yeah. um, how important is it to build up your stamina before you can even practice like all the moves because after even just 60 seconds you can find yourself yes. breathing really hard I know it looks easy if you're just doing the basic Not even but 60, those little 30. hops really yeah. takes a lot out of you so how much how much stamina do you have to build up before you even start doing this as a regular exercise okay so before coming to that I think that there's a misconception within jump rope that this is only for warm up and that's it that's right all. but in fact the jump rope can also be a total body workout okay, okay. because you are incorporating your lower part of your body yes and also your upper side of your body yes. right? right and also like must follow said that you are out of breath when mm -hmm. you're doing it right yeah so because sometimes when people started to do exercise with jump rope they directly do it like um without even considering a rest between sets right. like 60 seconds straight or something mm -hmm. yeah and it's also going to be worse when you are you know, self beginner. Okay. Yes. So, like this. so you're going to take a lot of your your energy. Okay. Yeah. So you're so. suggesting like it's better to do it just a little bit at a time. But... Yes, that's oh, right. So okay. that's how you build your endurance. So that's how you yes. build your stamina. Like do it right. in um, uh, 15 seconds. If you can do it effortlessly, you can do it 30 seconds. Right. Okay. And then jump it. Do not just directly do it. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do two minutes. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. if you watch yeah, like you're... those like Rocky or fantastic. movies, exactly. you're seeing them like nonstop. Exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. just in the movies. Exactly. So. <laughs> so I mean, when you start, especially for a beginner, what time do you propose? That's like it's it's a minimal for us, or it's like it's maximum. That's okay. Okay. So 
Okay, it cannot be said as a general thing. Right. Okay. Like, uh, if you are a beginner, like uh, I said previously, that you need to do it with interval. Okay. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds, if you think that it's 30 seconds is too hard for you, yes. you can decrease it to 15 seconds mm -hmm. and so on. But if you think that 30 seconds is ready, it's too so easy, easy for, you. for you, then you're gonna yeah, you can up. do it. So, again. yeah, for the beginners, I would say I would recommend 20 to 30 minutes with rest. Okay. Okay, okay within the 30 minutes. Okay. And after that, if you think that you can do more than that, okay. you can stay within the 30, sec uh, 30 minutes time, mm -hmm. but at the end intensity. For example, doing double unders. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is kind of like interval training, if you really think yeah. about it, right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about the jump rope itself. Uh, I practiced, I was given a jump rope that what I found out later was kind of what they call an expert jump rope. It was very thin. Yeah, I have that and one And it moved too. really fast. And right. in fact, what I should have started with as a beginner was something like a little bit more like this, right? Oh, it's a little bit, yeah. bit thicker. What are the okay. different types of jump rope and what are the differences with how, what kind of results Technics and how we also. perform with it? Yeah. So the thinner one, like the, we call it the cable rope or yes. wire yes. rope. Yes. Yes. So it's mostly used for those who are ma already mastered the basics. Uh, because it is harder to control. <laughs> because it That is, explains a lot. Uh, yeah. Lighter. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So you cannot really feel the feedback yes. when you're trying to learn new tricks yes. or simply doing a basic bounce, something right. like that. Okay. So it's going to be harder. It is mostly used for those who are you know, into CrossFit, doing mm -hmm. some reps of double unders or triple yes. unders something. But for beginners, I would like Harry recommend to use some kind of this, uh, beaded okay. rope. We call it beaded, beaded rope. rope. Beaded rope, yeah. right. There you go, my yeah. PT, my personal okay. coach. <laughs> um, and that. <laughs> and, and, and uh, real quick, so we can explain to our viewers who aren't familiar yeah. with jump rope. Double unders is if when you jump up once, but you go under twice. Yes, there's two revolution okay. and one jump. And can then you show triple it to us? would be three. Can you, yeah, yeah. Can you show us Just between? like, it's okay. easier visual. So this is like the basic double unders. Whoa. Okay, so it's doubles, like two, yeah. like two, two times switch. you go two revolutions for okay. one jump, for one. Okay. which means it requires you to jump higher. Uh -huh. Plus, right. your shoulder and arms are moving twice as fast. Yes, wow. that's right. Okay. All right. What are some of the other tricks that uh, you have learned along the way when you started your jump rope journey? Okay. So this is one of the most popular tricks in Indonesia or okay. other people that learning jump rope in the pandemic era. Okay. Uh -huh. so this is called as mic release. Okay. When you let go of the handle and Whoa. catch it again. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. That would make some great content for you, uh, Coach Steve. Thank you. Thank you for that. Well, I mean, you know, jump rope is also great for content. But again, as we said before, this is also a good thing for us to, for a warm-up or even yes. like an exercise itself. So let's say if you doing jump rope for a warm-up, what other workout you think that's you know necessary to have a jump rope as a pre-workout yeah. as a complement oh, yes. to what other sports perhaps or activities mm, okay so basically jump rope can also be used for other activities like i was in a badminton club badminton. Mm -hmm. this is also one of the requirements to build your endurance yes in a basketball as well right oh. so, but when you're, you're yeah because yeah. you're yeah. hopping right yeah. Yeah. on your legs training your calves yeah yes. your thighs and uh, right. other kind of stuff right but when you are into jump rope and you don't really other have other sports to do, yes. I would like to recommend you to do some body weight exercise or weight lifting right. because you need to, you know, support yes. the lower part of your body, upper right. part as well because right. jump rope you also need a strong, uh, mm -hmm. a strong legs, yes. core as well okay. because yes. otherwise when you like to, you know, execute a more advanced tricks, it will yes. be harder for you because your body is not ready for that. Yeah. Okay. It's not built for that. Wait, um, I, if wow. I'm not mistaken, if you, if like I, I do some weightlifting as well as my regular exercise, would that not be counter counterintuitive to, to, to jumping rope because like if you have uh, muscles, wouldn't it make you more stiff in your movement? Do you have to be a lot looser when you're jumping rope? Yeah, nah, okay, that's, that's, that's good. But it's not. Uh, my experience, my personal experience, so yeah. other athletes that I also look up to, right. they also have this kind of muscular body, but right. they're also very flexible. They can do splits within their jump ropes oh. right. and so on. Wow. Yeah, wow. so it's not only like you can just yes. do it and make yes. stiff of your body by doing weightlifting or something. You also right. have to train how to stretch and other yes. stuff, which also beneficial. So it gives you real. like balance, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Maskin, I want to ask about breathing. Yeah. Techniques, because I think that's very important. You can jump, but if you cannot breathe, right, yes. you cannot prolong your time. Correct. So how do you breathe? Like, was it like with your mouth, or it's just like with your nose and whatnot? And what's the timing, like, timing. of the breath, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I look at it as normal, like you are running. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. For your mouth, but sometimes some people also do not really comfortable like, with the, with their mouth. Right. Like, so let's like, Mm -hmm. With their with their nose yes. like okay. that. I yeah. personally do with my nose because it's going to be make me more uh, easily to, to to get thirsty when I 
That's right, because oh, your, your throat mouth is not dry. Yes. Yes. It's going to be like dry. Right. Yes. Make a little thirsty. So I personally, when you're jumping, you just like pace your time. If you're already a bit tired, for example, you can slow it down yeah. and uh, breathing for your nose. Mm. Yes. That's because it is like running, but you're having a rope, like, yes. you know, you're just yeah. jumping, but it's, okay. it's truly like a I, running technique. I'm a little bit distracted by your shirt. Can you tell me a little <laughs> bit about Jumpnesia? What is that? Uh, so, Jumpnesia is like a uh, jump rope brand because previously when I started jump rope in 2022, I have to export, I have to get this from other countries. Right, which okay. is the good so ones, far. right? Like the good ones. Yeah. The good ones, right. the good quality, the BD drop, because that, at that time, there is no BD drop in Indonesia. Oh, oh really? If there is, there's like low quality one, which when you do it, uh, you yeah. said it's going to break easily. Right. So I had to buy it from UK in some oh, stuff. So that. when it comes to Indonesia, this is also the brand that, that we have right oh, now, Jamnesia, okay. also to provide Indonesian jumpers, our jumpers want to be, or do, whoever would like to get into jump rope, right. yeah. easily access the ropes because better quality you do well. not, yes, better quality as well because yeah. you cannot, you should not, you know, be restricted simply because of the equipment that you yes. have, right? Of course. Do you have a community as yeah. well that like jump rope communities that you Yeah, have? so the jump rope communities, we have Jump Rope Indonesia. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, uh, we also have a regular training yes. at GBK yes. every Sunday at yeah. 8 until 11 or 12. Perfect for you, Coach, because you're always out there uh, anyway getting morning walks yeah. with your kids. I need to have my one hour every day. Is this Speaking of kids, is this is this good for kids? Like, I mean, kids we always know, yes. are, we call it skipping back then. But right. do you find a lot of kids enjoying Jump Rope as well these days? Yes, there's a lot of kids enjoying uh, Jump Rope as well. But in Indonesia, it's not that much, but outside of Indonesia, for example, yeah. in our neighboring country like Malaysia, yeah. Yeah. it's already become a curriculum in school. Right. Really? Yeah, because they already have a good foundations of jump ropes, yes. that kind of stuff. Does it only make the kids also taller? I mean, for us, I mean, our <laughs> age is done. I wish I had known that. Usually, right? Because, yeah. you know, when you jump and whatnot, it kind of like enhances you, kind of like sparks your Yeah, energy. it helps, but it's not really like the main factor yes. for it. Genetics also play a of role course, for that. Right. Of course. But it also helps just, just like other sports that can, you know, help boost your um, when you are in the growing era yes, or something like yes, that, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah your blood age. flow, your circulation, right. and yeah, that right. always helps right. with growth. Yes. Indeed. So, um, I believe we have some ju extra jump ropes. Not the thin one. I'll be right back, guys. Not the cable wire, please. Yeah. Can we have the one that Maskeanu have? Because it's going to be very hard. So, I mean, you can do this, Maskeanu, as a work or exercise by itself, right? Just yeah. jump rope yes, without any that. other exercise. Yes. Here's a color. I like this one. Oh, All right. Matches you a little more. I know, yeah, I, I like know. It. Okay, so these are the beaded ropes, similar to what yes. you have. Let me ask one more question. Before we get you to show us some of the basics, uh -huh. length. Yes. Yeah. There is a trick that I don't know if it's true or not, but you're supposed to put your one foot on it. And can, tell us how about how you measure length. Okay, that, that, okay. So, uh, a lot of people asking, like, what is the proper length for me? Yes. So it depends on your height. Mm -hmm. So you can, like my spoiler already did, okay. step in the middle of the rope. Mm -hmm. okay. So... Do it this the handle. Yes. And fold it like this. Okay. For beginners, it also advise to start under your armpit or okay. under your chest. Okay. Like this. So if this uh, this mm, under your armpit is yeah. too long for you, you can lower it here. Right. Okay. But when you as you get more efficient with the ropes, you would like to go into freestyle to play speed, something like that, you mm -hmm. can also decrease the length oh, of the rope. So you what, why, why yeah. does, like, what is the yeah. impact of using a longer rope? Is it a slower rotation? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Slower rotation is also harder to control. If I use that rope, right. it will be harder for me because my form will be like this. Oh. I need to, oh, yeah, I need to compensate. So You're form. compensating right I'll for the extra length. Form because okay. of the length of the rope. Okay, so is this okay? Like for... Oh, you're an like expert, so... Yeah. <laughs> so for, for beginners, I do not really recommend for that height. Okay. But it can also be used. Other people, some of my friends are so shorter than that. Right. Here. Really? really? Yeah. Wow, so it's like really because tight evolution. Because they're from the fixed right like here. Okay. So then they don't really need a longer rope. Okay. okay. Well, these are the ones we have, so we're going to have to go to expert level Thank right you. away, okay? Yes. So uh, what are some of the basics that we should start doing when we start learning properly? Because you did say having a good foundation is very important. Yes. So the first thing that is really um, important, the form, how to you how you hold the rope. Right, right? Okay. first. So some handles. people, the beginners, do it like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is not the correct, the proper form. Okay. Okay. So all things that you need to do is like, put your hands. Really? Okay. okay. And also put it down at the side of your body and let 
fold like this your okay. arms. Ah. Okay, so for this uh, arms, yes. for the wrist, you do not want to go to the side like too this. Far. Oh. Too far. It's going to be like making an angle like So this. 45 right. degrees each yes. way. Like this. So the mo the movement after this, you like to jump, right? You need right. to maintain this uh, this form. Okay. So, so this is just like this throughout yeah. our, okay, yeah. jump rope. So because if you, you know, make it wider, yes. no matter how long your rope is, it's going to be shorter. It's going to end you. up being shorter oh. the wider yeah. you go. Oh, oh big sense. So oh. when you are having this form, right. even if you're your rope is shorter. Yes. As, as some people say it is too short or something. It's right. not. This is okay. the technique that is right. Okay. 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 And, and do the movements come from your wrists or partially with your elbows or your yeah. shoulders have to get into? Okay. So the movement come from wrists and also partially from okay. the elbows. It's like you're pushing down like this. Okay. So it's going to be. Oh, so you're not. You're supposed to keep the upper part of your arm kind yeah. of. Yeah. Like so, I know how to do this, but when it's like this, beat it down. I'm confused. I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. okay let's so, try. Before that, also jumping. Yeah. Some people jumping really high like this. Yeah. Right? Which is not necessarily for you to do that because right. our rope is only this thin. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. only like. You need to just clear the rope. Right. Yeah. Okay. Clear the rope. Because the higher you jump, the more tired I assume. The more tired. Also, a higher impact of your for your knees or something. Okay. Okay. Want well, to give it a shot? Yeah. All sure. Right. All right. Here we go. One. You start us off. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Go. Oh, that's the short. short. That's the short. Right. Yeah. Now my that rope, my rope's not hitting the ground. Uh, Mine is too. Is that okay? That's okay. Am I going too high? Ah, uh, okay. Your arm is a bit wider, so okay. you need to. Yes, oh. that's right. That's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Huh? Uh, that's the alternative. Did I tell you I know how to skip? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I don't yeah. know how to do a double under. Okay. Let's take it up a notch. Teach us one trick. What is the easiest trick to learn other than just regular? Okay, there's it's for our content, Maskeano. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna post. We're gonna post on IG yeah. here. So there's like the name of side swings. Okay. It's gonna be like from right to left and it's in the middle of fun. Okay. Okay. Show so us first. the movement first. You start to drop from uh, the behind of your body. Okay. And I would like to start with the right side. Okay. So when you put in the right side, directly like this. Open arms with this, like this. Okay. Oh. And then when the rope is going to the back, it's the time for you to cross it to the left. Other side. Yeah. And when the left, that's right. The movement of the arms like this, making a T or yes. cross. Yes. 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 And then when it comes like this, when the rope is going up, it's the moment when you bring your right arm to okay. the position like this. Yes. And that's the moment when you jump. That's when we jump. Yeah. So it's going to be like one, two, and jump. That's oh, you guys are swing. Oh, wait, hold on. So I'll do it slow so. first. Yeah. One, two. Okay, that's it. You're okay. on the trick. Yeah, that's uh, easy. Okay. <laughs> so, then, so then what? That's easy. And then you jump. And then, uh, and then we, we just go back to the regular. Yeah, if you want to do from the regular bounce and going to side swings, you went to the regular bounce. Uh, okay, uh, let's give it a shot. I got, okay. yeah. I got that wrong. I got that wrong. Caroline, you can do I'm, it. I'm worried. So it's the, and then you turn it right. Yes, and then left. Cross. Hey, hey, there you go. Let's give it a yeah. shot. Huh? Yeah. Hey. That's what it's all. Hey. Okay, this is. Now, yeah. Okay. You know what? <laughs> My job is. <laughs> okay. We might have to. Uh, no, no, no. We might he have to go off air now. He can do it. <laughs> So, let's talk a little bit about some of the other benefits. We mentioned that this yes. is great for cardiovascularity. Yes. This is also great for supplementing your other sports. What other benefits have you found since picking this up last year? Um, okay, so, based, uh, other than like physical health benefits and something mm -hmm. like that, I feel like mentally, also, because of learning a lot of tricks, it yes. helps me to understand or to be more patient when I'm trying to learn something new outside of jump ropes. Mm -hmm. For example, also try to learn other language. Right. I need to really get into basics and also Correct. pay attention to the details. Like the right. process. Yeah, yes. the process. Trusting uh, the process. So it, it builds my mentality that you cannot just face forward it Yes. Directly go to the app and Right. Like yes. So Respect it, the process. Yeah. Yes. I exp yeah. Uh, yeah. I get it a lot when I learn this. Learning this new language, it helps me a lot with setting up mental mm. my mind that you need to follow the process or something like yes. that. Good point. Process and progress. That's, that's right. A, that's a good point as well. Yeah. Um, and I think that this is something, uh, especially something new that you can learn on your. Not only can you do on your own, but like 
Can you not look it up on, on YouTube and see like instructional mm -hmm. videos yeah. to learn all these tricks? Like, is yes. that how you learn most of your tricks? Yeah. So most of my tricks, I learned it by myself, by, from YouTube tutorials, from right. Instagram tutorials. There you go. Or I steal mm -hmm. some of the tricks by screen recording other athletes who are doing tricks that I am interested in. Right. And I like put them in a slow down and break it down and right. then try it in the training. Yeah. And try it, so. okay. But right now, uh, I have some friends because right, there are a lot of people who already get into jump ropes and they yeah. can do some tricks. Mm -hmm. I have friends to help me in some tricks to correct my form. Nice. How to do right. it recently, but back yes. then when I started, that's the only thing that I can yeah. do because there's no other people that can I ask. Right. Now, you know what I learned from us, you know, though, because jump ropes sometimes for my pre-workout, it's kind of very tough whenever my coach tells me, here's the rope. Yeah. I'm like, oh no, I'm already very <laughs> intimidated. But now I know from you that it is a process, it is yeah. a progress, and then you just have to keep on going. Because sometimes yeah. you just felt beat up and like, I can't do 30 more seconds. Right yeah. Yeah, kind of like me now, I'm having trouble catching yeah. my breath. <laughs> but then you have to have the correct also equipment. Like yes. the rope yeah. that I have is, you know, turns out to be, the, you know, the one advanced. advanced. Perhaps, mm -hmm. right. Yes. Again, it's all a process. Masciano, yes. thank you so much for this. It's been very enlightening yes. and it's helping us embrace this a little more instead of I being do. so afraid of it yes. all the yeah. time. Now, yes. we would love, Caroline and I would love to show you our amazing jump rope skills. Unfortunately, we're not quite there yet. It is a process. <laughs> so, we're going to conclude this segment with another little performance by Masciano. Thank you so much. Without Thank any you. further ado. Yeah, Thank no, you so much. Well. It is such Thank a so pleasure. Much, we'll Enjoy, everyone. Soon. We've got Masciano. sport recaps coming up. Masciano, Woo. everyone.